everyone, Agent Fluffy here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. This is going to be part two of Turnabout Sisters, and last time, Mia was killed, unfortunately, and Maya has been put in the detention center. So, we're going to be continuing to talk to Maya and see what the hell is going on. So, uh, let's continue. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? Was it? What is? Can I? Can I say this? Hold on. Ugh. Water. What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes! That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been the evidence in the case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember! Do you want to hear it in her own voice? H her own voice? Yeah. Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on our my. Bleh. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You record it. Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right! Oh, I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you notes so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. My house memo added to the court record. A conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. The conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. So you're an acolyte, uh, um, uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fee family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Fay family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She led the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers are first class too. I... I had no idea. Hmm. Wait! What? So, you're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium? With uh, ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. <laughs> I... I'm sorry still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? Huh? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. Huh? Say, what about your parents? I... I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. What? 
Tomorrow? Tomorrow? What if this guy refuses? He told me that if we don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? He came with me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I'm kind of unused to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. But then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Sorry. I've never seen that before. I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Or is this? I'm gonna ask her about this now. This was lying next to the chief's body. I saw that too. You said they thought there were pieces of a broken light stand. Yeah, that seems about right. Though I never heard of a glass light stand before this. Remember that receipt? Y you mean the one with a name on it? Any idea why she... Absolutely none! Um, do you trust me? I trust you. I trust you. Why? Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but... My detective thinks I did it. I wanted to ask you about your cell phone. That detective took it when they brought me in. So, Gumshoe took it. I'll have to try to get back it. I'll have to try to get back next time I see him. This card monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Smile for the camera. Let's move to... The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey! You there! This is a crazy bout! No trespassing! Um, sorry. Do I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't ya? No, 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 Phoenix Wright! How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, uh, yes, I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. A uh, butts guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right! At your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. Don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick! Get over here! I yes, sir. But be right there. Uh, ahem. <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? You got a business here. You better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm Moya's lawyer. About Miss Faye, did she do an autopsy? Mm -hmm. You want to know the results, eh? Now don't you go looking at me like that, pal. Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. The autopsy report add to the court record. Time of death, 9... So, September 5th at 9 o'clock p.m. Cause, single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, Belle, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Wh why do you say that? 
The city's put Prosecute Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecute Edgeworth? That's right, Belle. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets guilty verdict. Aw, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a single case. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Hmm? What's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. I was wondering, do you know anything about this? That statue? That's a murder weapon. Huh? I think the clock is just a statue, too. I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. There was broken glass of the crime scene, right? Hmm? Oh! That? Seems like glass stand. Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. A glass charge with pieces of the broken stand. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there was, so there's no proof that Mia wrote it. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, bro. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. I'm gonna have to tell him straight. If I tell him what I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like her boyfriend's? A cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. You ain't trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation. Yay, thank you. <laughs> Maya's cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Holds a conversation between the chief and Maya. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. Which I'm going to be doing right now. Mia, what's up? So, September 5th, 9.27am. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for, to for me. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to put the clock out. Sorry. I had to put... I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? I'll leave that one... I'll leave that one up to your imagination. Do you see you tonight at nine? And that is the conversation. I guess you asked all the questions I need to. Y'all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait! One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you plan on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influence in the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. 
sorry about this, but I can't let you... But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me your name. Miss May, huh? Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so you sent her home already, huh? Aha! You're trying to... Aha! You're trying your loyally tricks on me now. She's not good. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. Again, I do apologize for the echo in my microphone. That sometimes comes up. There's nothing I can do to fix that as of now. So, yeah. You got that right, pal! Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Let's see. Thanks for this. Don't mention it, pal. When it comes to dealing with lawyers, fight fair and square is our motto. I don't know how I feel seeing everything written up like this. Makes Mia's death seem so routine. Is he then knows to record a conversation. And I'm going to examine the office. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it had the bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordyline Stricta, Bell. Who was that? No movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia's probably re- Scarier still is that Mia probably read all these. Let's... Uh, nope. Let's go back. Let's go... Where's your phone back? Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can you listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Of course. Number six, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention, run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil painting's so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. The expensive-looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive-looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Let's... Here. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. And... Alright. <clears throat> This is where I am going to end uh, the uh, investigation of uh, where I'm going to end this part of the Let's Play of uh, Phoenix Wright Eternity Trilogy, Turnabout Sisters. And, well, 
I've gotten a lot of things done for uh, the investigation. So, this has been Agent Fluffy, and I will see you guys next time. Hey everyone, Agent Fluffy here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me even more, feel free to support my Patreon. The links are right here.